Hey, what's up, you? Oh, yeah. Come here. What's up, you? Yes, good girl. Hi, girl. A little bit of that. You can pull her out right there. So she's experiencing this. Now Soko is actually starting to get a little curious. Check out this magic here. Soko, not too much. Hey. So I want to help her. She's making good choices there. I want to make sure that he doesn't get too much too soon. You can see some nice curiosity there. A little Girl. bit of... But you can see a much, much different dog that's learning to try to interact with dogs a different way. What's up, Buck? What's up, Buck? We also got Bucky here chilling out. Nice little tail wag. I like to mess with his face much, much more than other dogs because he's a dog that has come in not being able to trust people doing that. We have Soko over in there also hanging out with him. Um, so you can see Lily, much, much different dog, and uh, it's still really, really early in the program. Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about, though, was the initial video that we posted. I, I think it was actually the second video that we posted. And um, that video in particular, I'm trying to think, yeah, it was the second video. That second video was where I brought her into the socialization room and my dog Soko happened to be there um, and she went after him and I used the dressage whip. Now, I, I, I want to make it clear that I, I think that it was 100% the choice that needed to be made in that moment, but I also want it to be known that that's not a normal protocol for how we kind of go about things. So I don't want that situation to get taken out of out of context or be viewed as oh shoot you know Blake this is what he does with aggressive dogs and this is how we get them to be social um very very important that that I, I kind of uh throw that out there so this was a dog that was super super stressed she was biting at the leash she was trying to mount people um going after dogs barking non-stop really really whiny and uh I went outside with her just as the parents left and tried to do some pressure release work with her, very, very soft, but she was just so far gone that I needed to do something else to kind of get her down here so that I could be able to offer a softer side. At the end of the day, I'm always trying to be as soft as possible, but I also want to be able to help a dog when, when it's needed. So, um, Samson, over here. Um, in that moment, it was a gut, and, and I'm, I'm huge, I'm a huge you know, advocate of following your gut, trusting your instincts. It was kind of one of those decisions where I said, okay, I know what needs to be done. I need to throw this dog in the room. I didn't know if I was going to use the dressage or not. And a lot of times we really just try to use it as an extension of our hand where I can just, just kind of part seize, as I call it, and use it to just, just separate dogs or, or just move dogs in without really actually having to use that but when i saw that reaction it was just an instinct right away absolutely not that's not how you're gonna that's not how we're gonna start the relationship off with you here the reason i did it was i wanted her to realize that she did have to pay attention to me and be concerned with me and when she was concerned and actually focusing on what i was doing she was putting everything else on hold by doing that it gave me access to her to actually start to be soft and, and just let her know what it is that I was looking for. And um, once again, it's not a normal thing. And what I want to do is I want to show you a little bit of what we do do normally when we get our next uh, dog in here that has similar issues. But um, having said that, I don't want it to get taken as like the thing to do when you have an aggressive dog. Um, but what I'm saying is that that's not the normal protocol. Um, so. Just wanted to get that out there in the air. The last thing I want is like a, a newer trainer to kind of see it and be like, all right, well, well, that's what you got to do because that's, that's yeah. normally not what we do, right? So, um, so yeah, that's that. And just show you what we got going on here. Falco, come here, bud. What's up, buddy? Come here. Please. Good job. Just hanging out with him, doing some stuff with him. He's really really good with all the dogs that he knows he gets a little weird with dogs that he doesn't know and right now he does not know bucky and he does not know lily um so we're just teaching him 
you know, how to kind of hang out and also making sure that we can provide appropriate space for him. A lot of times we also put him in the middle here and have dogs go around him and just make sure that these other dogs aren't pestering him as well so he can learn to just kind of hang out. But um, that's just a good position where he is right now. And uh, this is what we have going on. Right, Buck? Right, Buck? Yeah. Hey, Lil. Lily. Come here, silly girl. Come here, silly girl. Yeah. What's up, you? Mm-hmm.